In this video, we'll be summarizing Maximum Impact by Wayne Mack, which teaches you how to make the greatest impact you can possibly make on the lives of people for the glory of God and the expansion of His kingdom. We are starting right now. Joel R. Beek said of this book in the beginning that Maximum Impact shows us the Christian way of winning friends and influencing people. Now he is referring to Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, a self-help book that sold over 30 million copies. But while that book deals with external and superficial matters to get people to like you, like begin on common ground and remember to charm people with your personality and have others believe your conclusion is their own. Seriously, those are three of the 10 ways suggested to win friends and influence people by Carnegie. This book, on the other hand, teaches you real biblical ways for you not to only have influence and get people to like you, but to have impact, not for selfish gains, but for God's glory. And what I have found is that those on whom you have unselfish impact for God's glory often becomes your friends. So how do you grow in impact for God's glory? Well, Wayne Mack makes the point that growing in impact means growing in love. Let, let me just say that again for you if you missed it. Growing in impact means growing in love. This point is made in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 3, which says that even if you have all the spiritual gifts to the utmost degree, even if you have the gift of tongues to speak in angelic languages, even if you have the gift of faith to remove mountains, even if you have all the knowledge and have the gift of giving church, you give everything you have for the ministry. But without love, you don't have love, it's all absolutely useless in making an impact on the lives of people. Listen to this illustration found in the book. All our spiritual gifts are like zeros on a line of a page. No matter how many gifts you have, they still total to a value of zero for God's glory and zero impact on the lives of others until you add love to it, then it is like putting a one in front of those zeros. And you have, if you have more love, it is like changing the one to a two or a higher number. Thus, gifts without love are useless. And the degree to which you love is the degree to which your gifts become useful to impact others for God's glory. So what is this biblical love that we need to grow in? Here Wayne Mack does a practical exposition on the topic of love and how to grow in it as found in 1 Corinthians 13. Just to mention a few descriptions of this love that we need to grow in. First of all, love is patient. That means you do not vent your anger when a felt or real need of yours is not met. Love is kind. That means you actively seek to do good to others. Love does not envy. It won't prevent the advancement of others because you feel that you won't stand out. Love does not boast. Love does not boast overtly saying, look how good I am, but also not covertly, like showing off a new car or a fancy job. Love is also not self-seeking. Thus the whole motive for all of your actions is not to advance self or even get people to like you or make friends but to serve God and others. Love also does not rejoice at wrongdoing, thus it does not find sin entertaining or cute, but exposes it and refrains from participating in it. Also finally, love believes all things. It assumes the best of someone until facts prove otherwise, and even then, it still assumes the best motives. And maybe one more, love endures all things. Your commitment to help others should be tenacious in that it does not give up when it gets tough. And so Wayne Mack really explains these concepts of love, but also gives practical ways for you to go and live it out. So there's a link to this in the description box below. But now, question, how do you grow in this type of love? Um, how, how can you become this more impactful person? It's not just enough to know about it. You need to grow in it and apply it to your life. Well, here are six ways that Wayne Mack gives in his book, all based on scriptural teaching. First of all, you need to be saved. 1 John chapter 4 verses 8 to 11 says, We love because He first loved us. You can only love others if you have experienced the salvific love of God in your lives. Secondly, you need to be filled with the Spirit. What does Galatians 5 verse 22 say? We know it. The fruit of the Spirit is 
love, right? It starts there. Thirdly, you need to abide in Christ. If you want to grow in love, you need to abide in Christ because John 15 verse 2 to 4 says, apart from Him, apart from Christ, you can do nothing. But with Him, you will bear much fruit. Fourthly, you need to let His Word dwell in you richly. John 15 verse 7, not only should we abide in Christ, but His Word should abide in us if we are to bear much fruit. Number five, you need to die to self. If you want to grow in love and impact, you need to die to self. John 12 verse 24, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. And finally, you need to actively pursue love. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1 says explicitly after this love chapter that defines love for us and shows us the excellency of it, it says pursue love love in no unclear terms thus growing in love does not only mean growing in understanding of love but that you actively need to put it on in your everyday circumstances and life now here is a practical action step that you can start and take right away to help you become a more loving person who has a great impact on the lives of others and who are truly fruitful for god's glory go and read first corinthians 13 in your bibles go and read it and make sure you understand each one of those descriptions of love. And then choose one or a few of those attributes that stand out the most to you and seek to work on those areas in your life. And then tell me in the comment section below what areas you'll be working on because I would really like to know where the Holy Spirit is working on in your life. You can go and read 1 Corinthians 13 and then tell me, or even if you know already, look at the list here and tell me what areas are you working on. That would be very, very interesting and helpful for us. Now next week, for our every second Monday live stream at 7pm, I will do a deeper Bible study on 1 Corinthians 13 and the topic of love. So be sure to tune in for that because I really think that's really, really impactful. So we look at what does the Bible say on this same topic and we'll expand a little bit more on some practical ways to apply it from the book. Like I said, there's a link to the book in the description box below. Remember to like and subscribe and may God help you to grow in impact as you grow in love. God bless.